I think that you have to be incredibly driven and disciplined about continuing to push yourself and to learn and to grow and to take advantage of every opportunity that's given to you because no one ever gets handed this. It, you know, it's very rare to be in a situation where unearned, you're just given a great opportunity. Um, so much of acting is, you know, this is, sounds a bit cliche, but so much of acting an actor's job more often than not is, is trying to get work, not actually doing the work. So they spend so much time rehearsing. They spend so much time in scene study. They spend so much time auditioning for jobs that they don't end up booking that the actual work part where they get to be on set and in front of the camera is this tiny part of what they do. And so the rest is very much in their control to work their craft to be disciplined about it, to try and always to learn and improve, never believe that they know more than they do. Uh, and even if they know a lot, be prepared to learn some more. And that is a work ethic that I think every actor should have. And I think it goes for writing too. You can't claim to be a writer or, or that you're ready for an opportunity unless you've really been working on understanding and honing your craft. And, and writers write, and there's lots of procrastination involved. There's lots of times where you feel blocked or you know you feel like you're not worthy or not good enough, but writers write. I can remember early in my writing career, I would often call my agent up and go, hey, nothing's happening for me. Why aren't you calling me with opportunities to go and get hired on jobs? And she said, well, what are you doing to write material that I can send to people to show them that you're a good writer? And I was like, oh, right. You can't just market me on the basis of what I've done. I have to continually be showing you what I'm capable of now. So writers write, and you have to continue to work and push and have a good uh, drive. And it'll take you places.